Okay, well, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd do another Martin video since my uh, my Martin uh, Eric Clapton signature uh, that unfortunately is sold. Uh, it is gone. Um, it was hard to let it go, but again, that was the the reason I bought it. Uh, so it did sell very quickly, and you know I made a small profit. Um, but another Martin, and this one is very rare, but it's it's. I'm not sure why. So, we're going to talk about the Martin DC 35E. Now, for whatever reason, uh, we'll just take a few quick looks at it. There's, of course, the D35 back. For whatever reason, when these came out, they were like so short-lived. Um, I actually had gotten three of them. Um, I, well, the first one uh, came damaged. The second one had this um, a really, really, really ugly grain on the top um, that I didn't like at all. Um, like it was really, really. Horribly, um, what do you call them? Burr marks or whatever, uh, or uh, like burr marking, whatever. I don't know. It, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I have a nice, solid, even top on this one. This was what I wanted. Um, but um, it's just a D35 with a cutaway. And I guess for some reason it completely flopped. Um, you don't see very many of them out there for whatever reason. But uh, they can't. Uh, in 2016, they tried doing this um, D 35E, D 28E, um, GP 28E. They did these uh, for what I, I. I'm really not sure what they were going for there. Uh, but this is a D 35, DC 35E. Dreadnought cutaway. It's 35 style. With the Fishman uh, Aurora, or yeah, Fishman Aurora VT Enhanced, whatever it is. Anyway, um, but uh, I was uh, you know, I was in the market. Uh, I was in the market for a Martin. I wanted. I was gonna get a D twenty eight or a D thirty five, and uh, this happened to pop up uh, through Guitar Center, and uh, my father convinced them to give me a. Uh, 20% off coupon, but the thing was it didn't cap at the 500. He got him to do the whole um, discount. Normally with Guitar Center especially, their coupons will have a cap of a max of $500 off. So I ended up getting something like eight or $900 off the price of the guitar. It was $36.99 new. Whatever, $36.99 new. It was 20%. So, uh, if you're so, so, okay, so no, seven something. Seven something off. Anyway. Uh, and I financed it and I paid for it. Um, it comes with all the it comes with the Martin, uh, you know, molded hard shell case and all the Martin paperwork, and it's built the same as any other D thirty five that's out there, except with a cutaway. And for some reason, that flopped. I I'm not sure why. I guess way too many traditionalists just decided they didn't. They just did not want their D thirty five to have a cutaway. Or whatever, or the way it was uh, named, maybe. Most guys maybe just want to, I, I want to have a D35, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But they came and went, and they are rare, and they don't uh, come around very often when you see one. But, I mean, if you need a cutaway, if you're a lead player, I mean, I, I very, you know, recommend picking up one of any of these series. Because it, it, it's really, it's, it's a nice cutaway. I mean, I can get, you know, I mean, you know, easily... Um, it's a nice cutaway, nice, you know, nice, it, it, it really fits your palm well, I mean, I, it does, I mean, I know, I know it's being, you know, it's kind of the same cutaway as most other acoustics, but like, you know how tailors kind of have that, that, it, it kind of flattens here, nothing, I have nothing against that whatsoever, uh, but, 
Juwan and Martin was a cutaway. I know there's a lot of the X series and there's, there's probably some Road series things and I know that they're doing these things, but the D35s, the D28s, things like that, they just, they don't have it. Uh, I love it. I need it. It didn't sacrifice any sound in my opinion. This, this is, this is my favorite sounding acoustic in the house over the Gibson, over the Taylor, um, you know, and over some other ones that I have floating around, uh, uh, this one just, it just has it. It just has a remarkably rich, deep sound. I know that's what Martin's known for, but, um, uh, they did not let me down here. And, um, uh, they, they really did. Martin really does put their guitars together so nicely. You know what I mean? I've had this now for six years, um, and I have played it quite a bit, but they really do. They, they really do those little things. Like, the ebony is perfect. The ebony is the most perfect piece of ebony I've probably seen on an acoustic uh, fingerboard. On any fingerboard, sorry. Uh, completely dark, rich, grainy, no streaks. And the binding is just put on there incredibly perfect. Um... It's very hard to find any little imperfections if, if you were to really look around. It's very, very hard to find any imperfections on uh, this guitar and even um, my other Martin and other Martins that I've had. Um, I'll do a quick uh, sound. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. It seems to be picking it up um, in most of my videos. Uh, but I am gonna, I am gonna back away just a little because I could tell with the air clapped when I was strumming that it was it was a little loud uh, or uh, muddled. But um, I'll try and get you a really clean sound out of this. It's super. It sounds so good. I don't even know how to describe it uh, unless you're in person. But man, it is just full, full of life and happiness and smells like an old library right in the middle, right in the sound hole, everything that you want. Beautifully, beautifully well made um, acoustic. Uh, and uh, without a doubt, my absolute favorite sounding acoustic guitar really that I've I mean that I've played a lot some about this one I've played other D35s and they do sound 
good, but it's almost like by having just this small uh, part missing here, this small cutaway missing here, it's like the, um, it tames the, that Martin roar a little bit, that, that big bottom end, it's, it really opens it up, it's not super, it, I mean, it's got the sound, it's got the Martin sound, but it's, it's not super, I really can't explain it. I'm trying to explain it, I, I know, I know I should be editing this stuff out, but, um, it just doesn't have, a lot of people hate that big, big, big bottom end. This is giving me <coughs> a lot of uh, a combination of Taylor and Martin kind of kind of mixed in. You know, it's really, really pronounced. Um, it will give you that. It'll give you that roar, but at the same time, Give you those mids, those just those sweet. Hey, anyway, I know, I know, I'm some, I'm jumping over my words a little bit here, but man. It it really really has the uh, mid range that you don't normally get uh, on a Martin Dreadnought. Uh, you can get that from the Triple O's. I love the Triple O series, especially the Fifteen, um, which I have one, which I'll talk about. I think that is the best guitar for the money period um, uh, when it comes to getting into a quality instrument before really breaking the bank. Um, you know, uh, but again, that's for another video, but it's absolutely nothing not to love about this. There's, there's a couple other videos out there. It's, I'm not saying that there's some, there's a private musician's friend, private reserve video and a acoustic letter. And there's a few things out there, you know, you know, all the specs, it's built exactly like a D35, but, uh, my personal experience with, with having one, I've gigged with it several times. Uh, I know it doesn't have a mark on it, but that's just because I am, I am crazy like that. I keep my things pristine, and that's just what I like to do. Uh, I polish them every night, love them, kiss them goodnight. You know, that's just what I do with them. And um, I also really like the, um, I really do like the color of a natural spruce top versus uh, my problem with the Martin uh, Eric Clapton, especially was this, this vintage aged tint uh, or whatever it is i mean if, th if that's what this top will turn into one day no problem but uh yeah i really like that beautiful natural color a beautiful spruce top right there without having to uh have it altered let it alter on its own and also i hate that v-neck oh the necks on these uh i don't know i i don't think uh some of the curtain cur uh, current D35s or what they've been doing for the last uh, few years. They did say with with these um, with this series that they were going to give you a performance neck, and it's it is very thin. It is it is very very thin. I mean, shockingly thin. Um, super comfortable and really really is built for for speed. I mean, again, like these bar chords are, and my action is high. My action. I mean, I don't even know if you can see it, but man, my action is high. I can almost look at you through there, you know what I mean? And uh, um, these bar this neck is so thin. I mean, these bar chords are nothing. Uh, great neck. It's something you really need to experience. Oh, my God. That is so thin. I hope they made them all this. I hope they made them all like this or i'm sitting here telling you you know go find one of these or try and play one or try and experience one and i'm telling you oh in the neck the neck the neck but and this neck is super thin again these are things that are hard to see on camera but my god <laughs> it's i love it this thing is built for speed
it's so comfortable. <laughs> Very much worth checking out. If there's anything you want to know about them or any questions, I mean, again, it is D, it's just a D35 with a cutaway. I do like the Fishman system a lot um, that's in this. I don't prefer this enhanced um, feature that's there, but um, again, I don't use it. You know, I always volume and tone and, you know, battery right there, input right there. Uh, it is very much um, it's very very uh, the pickup system is really true to the guitar as long as you're not using that enhanced and bringing uh, I believe there's a mic end and a pickup in this and there's a blend between the two and I don't prefer the mic whatsoever um, just like a tiny bit of it blended in you know what I mean maybe uh I'll do that, but, uh, yeah, yeah, check one out, take a look, if there's anything I can try and answer for you, I will, but you will not be disappointed, and you probably won't have to pay as much as I had to pay for this, so, uh, you know, I bet they're probably on the used market, um, I think I saw none right now, but they pop up, and you can probably get one for, like, 21, 22, um, I'll have to check some recent sales, but they, they do pop up here and there. I don't think they were super limited. I'm sure they made, oh, I don't know, probably, I'm going to guess, I'm sure they made at least, I don't know, 500 of these, maybe as low as 250, um, because they did not market them whatsoever as a uh, limited edition. I think they tried to introduce it to the market. Uh, in fact, actually, hold on one quick second. I thought they had a uh, kind of a pamphlet of how they were marketing uh, um, this series. No, I thought there was some sort of. I thought I had a uh, like a uh, a promotional uh, piece of paperwork that came with the uh, guitar. I was positive I did. I'm really surprised. They had the 28, had the 35. I think they did an 18. Um, you know, it had a few different, uh, uh, highlighted acoustics, uh, that they were doing in this, um, E series or, uh, uh, DC or GPC or triple, uh, uh, it's hard to explain. They did some, some, they did some very strange things, but, uh, again, thought I had the paperwork, but that's it for now. Just something to take a look at and nerd over and, uh you know, enjoy and play. So, all right, take care.